Well, I guess it started around about 1980, about 1980 when I went up to Darwin and found a few wrecks up there and got an interest in planes again. My father was in the Air Force, so I guess it was always there. Um, finished up in New Guinea uh, in 82 and salvaged a P-30 on an Air Cobra and then it just got worse. It's just a plate with a bolt on top of it. Okay, so. In a hangar at Parafield Airport, a World War II fighter is being carefully brought back to life. Right. Your thumb? Rescued from a lagoon in Vanuatu, the Corsair is being lovingly restored by a group of dedicated craftsmen and women. Uh, most of them haven't seen an inside or outside of an aeroplane. Um, they've got good hand skills. I've always said they can fix a car and paint the house. Uh, a new chum will come along, he'll fit into a team, a few months working with a couple of guys there, and just, just, it just comes along. They know it too after a while, with training of course, it's all training. And um, within a few months, they're, they're cutting their own aluminium. Uh, they meet the challenge, they want to do it. But uh, okay. Okay. Locating, locating pin, yeah. Bob Jarrett owns and runs the Classic Jets Museum, and although technically retired, Bob is working as hard as he ever did in the paid workforce. Gee, I think it's a hobby that got out of, got out of hand. Um, certainly got to run the museum and the operation as a business. There's no other way. But it's based on volunteers. It's all a voluntary organisation, including myself, of course. And uh, we're very even. Uh, there's no real specific leader. It's my job to make it all happen, come together, of course. The volunteers, the strength, and without uh, volunteers working on an airplane, any given airplane, then I don't think the museum would last very long. And it's the mix of old and young that will keep this museum alive for many years to come. Next door, the completed planes are proudly on display. The museum, like many others, relies totally on its volunteer workforce. For many here, a love of flying machines is a newfound thing and that passion will provide a great many satisfying days and another reason to be up and about. I needed something to fill in my time. Two blokes from work that were here before came and saw me and said they could do with a pattern maker here to help them shape things and form panels. So I've been here ever since doing just that. The sense of community a small band like this brings adds value to many lives, especially in the older years. So building the planes has always been our strength. Uh, 13 years we've been at it and nothing's gone wrong. What we've got set up is correct and just continue that way. <laughs> 